Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original. I am the owner and artist of our website. Be sure to visit, we'd love to have you take a look at our designs. So today we are gonna make a card front. So it's not a full card, it's a card front. And the front of the card is going to be this adorable little owl. Now it's not Brentwood, he's just gonna be a goofy little owl. I found these really fun googly eyes at the Dollar Tree, and I thought it would be so much fun to make an owl featuring these goofy little googly eyes. So the first thing that I did, and you'll notice that I've been using my brother's Scan and Cut a lot. I absolutely love this Scan and Cut. Um, if you're interested in learning more about it, I will put a link down below. It is one of my favorite tools that I have. I, I love the fact that I am not limited to, you know, using specific die cuts or anything like that. I can really let my imagination just go wild. So what I did is I went ahead and scanned in this template. And you can see I'm gonna be making three, well, actually two pattern pieces, but it'll actually be three cut pieces. So it's the body and then each of the wings. Now that I have the template saved to my brother Scan and Cut, I'm gonna go ahead and load it with the brown paper that we're gonna use. And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna get it all organized on the cardstock. So I'm just gonna slide him up and then I'm gonna scale him down just a little bit. It's one of the things that I really like is that if I scan in a much larger image, I can scale it to whatever I need, obviously up to a 12 by 12. And if I have one of the 12 by 24 mats, which are available, I can actually do up to 24 inches worth of cutting as well. Now you can see, oh, my little sleeping dog in the background there. You can see that I'm scanning in the owl because I want to see where his placement lies. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on add and I'm gonna add in the wing patterns. Then you can see I went ahead and cut it out and this is one of the most satisfying parts because you do all of the work to set up your templates just to have the machine cut it out. Once it's done, I can go ahead and I'm just gonna turn the machine off and I actually should have probably ejected the mat first but I didn't do that so totally my bad. But you can see when you peel up the paper, there he is. So adorable, I absolutely love this. I think it's such a fun pattern to have. I have a lot of ideas for some Christmas cards that I could make. And if I was gonna turn him into a card, I would simply cut the owl shape with part of his body on the fold, and then I would mount this card front right to it. Now these are those googly eyes that I was talking about. Look how cute they are. They're not just like black little googly eyes, they're different colors. So I thought, how cute is that? So I opted to use for the owl, I think I'm gonna use the yellow ones. Um, I had opted, I started thinking maybe the blue ones would look cute, but I think, you know, the yellow contrast like an owl would have that at night. So I thought that'd be a really great way to go. Now with our owl, I found this really great paper stack and it's called Stargazer. I got it at the Hobby Lobby and it has all these weird galaxy pages and I love it, it's really pretty. And what I think I'm gonna do is potentially cut out a hat. But I am gonna start by using my Close to My Heart ink and just sort of touching it into the pattern of the owl, like the, the wings and then obviously the body and I'm just gonna just sort of smear it into the ink. Now you might say, why would I do that? I'm just adding some texture and some dirt to the owl because right now he's entirely too clean.
Now I went ahead and picked a piece of the stargazer paper and what I'm going to do is cut out a hat. So what you can see I've got the owl on there and I'm just freehanding it. So I'm just drawing it up. And again, remember, I am the artist and owner of JessicaLynnOriginal.com, so I feel really comfortable doing this. Um, if you're not comfortable drawing a hat, I know there are a lot of hat templates you could use. Um, for me, I just went ahead and doodled it up. I'm really happy with it. I think it's a cute, squishy hat. And I can't wait to see how it looks once I fussy cut it out and flip it over and put it on the owl. It is so cute. When I first put it on, I thought, oh, I love it. I love the ears popping out. I think it's cute. And then I started looking at it more and I thought the owl ears just looked weird. So I decided to cut them out and just sort of snip it so that the top of the hat um, covered his little owl ears. So from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start assembling this card. I think it's time to start seeing this card front come to life. Right now, it kind of looks like a potato with a hat on it. So that's kind of odd. So I'm ready to see this little owl come to life. As I started to assemble, I realized that the hat probably needed like a belt almost and then a buckle. So what I do is I flipped the pattern over, I drew out what I thought would be the exterior lines of the hat, and then I just drew on a little black belt. So you can see how perfect, by tracing it backwards, look at how perfect it just kind of falls right into place. From here, we're gonna go ahead and create a buckle that'll go on top of the black part of the hat. And I'm gonna make it out of green glitter paper. I think that that will be great. It's gonna look cute, sparkly, cause he just needs something a little bit more. And then um, all I'm gonna do is just fold a, I'm gonna cut out a square, fold it in half, and then cut out the center portion. And now it is the best time. Now it's the time to assemble this adorable little owl. Although I'll tell you, he still kind of looks like a potato. So we're gonna go ahead and just use some glue, get those eyeballs in place. And what I love is that the eyeballs are googly eyes. So he follows you around the room. He can, you can shake them a little bit and they'll move. And uh, so cute. And I love that we put a little bit of texture on the owl just to dirty him up. Because I think if I would have left him clean, you can see I have that problem with the beak. The beak is extremely clean. And so because of that, it just sort of throws it off a little bit. So I'm gonna come back through when I'm done and we're just gonna dirty it up a little. And I absolutely love adding a bunch of, you know, little design lines. So I'm just gonna go ahead around the owl and just add a little bit more detail 
so that everything pops just a hair more. Well, I am extremely happy with how this turned out. I think he looks so cute. And I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if it's the first time you've ever been here, thank you for watching. If this is a return, thank you as well. My name is Jessica Lynn, and I am the owner and artist for JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Be sure, oh, that googly eye is so goofy. Be sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to comment, and I'd love to hear from you down below. Thank you again, and I hope you have a great day.